it is Manchester United nil, Newcastle United three, Manchester United out of the Carabao Cup. Disgusting, letting us Manchester United fans down after a horrendous performance from these guys. And yes, people are screaming it. Eric Ten Hag out. I've always been so you, Eric Ten Hag out. I'm moving, I'm ever so close to being Eric Ten Hag out because what I'm seeing is absolutely nothing. Toothless from the players, toothless from the manager. Yes, I am, I've had enough. I've given up. I don't believe in this shit anymore, guys. And what Eric Ten Hag is doing, I don't believe in it. I'm not buying it, whatever he's selling today and whatever he's been selling because it has come to light. This manager can't do anything with this team. This team sucks. And some may say, have they was have they sold out? Have they down tools? Do they not believe it? Do they not want to play with it, play for this manager? And I've seen a cycle before, guys, and I see it over and over and over again. They don't believe in his manager. They don't want to play for him. You know, they've down tools. You get me? Tenok has lost the dressing room, in my own opinion. You know, today was one of the most important evidence that we because the way we lost that game even though we made changes but let's not forget that newcastle themselves they made changes too and what did they do they prevailed and they scored three goals what did we do we just retracted head in a shell and conceded three goals you know like it was so damn poor for Manchester United. They should be ashamed of themselves. They should dig a hole and put their head inside that hole for a good couple of days because they don't deserve to breathe air. They don't deserve to breathe the air that we breathe. No, they're not fit to wear this shirt complaining about how the socks is too tight, the kit is too tight, the, sh the shorts are too tight because you're not fit to wear the shirt. You've never been fit to wear the shorts. You can complain because it never fits you. You dickheads, bruv. Some of these players make me sick, guys. And I have saw the first 45 minutes. The first 45 minutes. Oh, my God. United was horrible in possession of the ball. You know what? At home, at Old Trafford, where you expect your club to dominate the ball, dominate possession, and actually put the onus and be on the front foot. We was at the back foot. There was a particular moment where Newcastle United had 63%. And we had about, what, 30, 30, 37 percent of the ball, which was just, just, it just tells me everything I need to know. Our own ground, we cannot do anything. And again, in that first 45 minutes where the goals came from Newcastle and Almiron, Liveramento with a fantastic run, going through Manchester United's midfield easily, easily. Regulon couldn't do shit, Lindelof couldn't do shit, and... And beating those two defenders and finding that ball to Amaron as well. And Amaron finishing it. You know, making Andre Onana look useless again. Every time Onana concedes a goal, he looks absolutely useless. Like he's helpless. Like he can't do anything. And then if it didn't get any worse, it did. It got worse. Manchester United conceding the second goal. And it was stupid. They didn't even pay attention to the set piece. None of them was concentrated. And Newcastle took a quick set piece. No one went for it. And eventually, as they continued to play on and play the ball, Lewis Hall struck the ball. And again, Onana looking useless in goal. Kitting that goal. Lewis Hall scoring his first goal for Newcastle. And Manchester United was 2 0 at half time. Second half, I said to myself, this team is finished. We're done. The manager's done. The manager can't go nowhere. He ain't going to get anywhere. And he, and he didn't. Like, I don't care. 13 shots and two shots on target. I don't remember Debrafka doing anything. I don't remember even the grass stain on being on Debrafka. You know, he can actually go home and not take a shower today. You know, he doesn't have to go to dressing room to take a shower. He did nothing. The Lynx deodorant is still smelling on his kit. On smell smelling on him. Still smelling fresh. Because that Debrafka, never saw him. Don't even know what his hair colour looks like. Now, his hairstyle is because since he left Man United and went back to Newcastle. You know, I don't even know if he's got a beard. You know, I never saw I never saw him. I don't think I saw him. I don't know if you guys saw him, but I didn't see him. Didn't see no grass stains on his on his shirt. He wasn't dirty. He looked fresh. That's how much we did not test our goalkeeper. You know. And then the third goal, Willock. Running through Manchester United, like I've been seeing throughout the whole season. Polo. Polo. They were playing Marco Polo with us. And we was Polo and they were Marco. And when they finally got out, it was Polo. Straight through. 
Bullock scores an amazing goal, a very good goal, and Manchester United again losing three goals to nil. And the manager's there, he probably potentially might get sacked in the morning. I don't know. Am I with this shit? I don't want to be with this shit anymore. I can't get jiggy with this shit anymore, guys. But then again, I'm a Manchester fan, Manchester United fan. All that's toxic that this club could be. I'm going to be back again Saturday, you know, ready to get hurt again, you know. Ready to be that, ready to be treated like Alf Cap Slater treats Alfie Moon, you know. I'm a slag, you know. Always hurting him, you know, even though he, he loves that. He loves that woman. He knows she's going to hurt her by cheating on her, getting bent over and tossed, and you find out about it. And that's Manchester United for you. Cat Slater. While we are Alfie Moon, just getting disrespected all the time. I'm so pissed off. I am annoyed. I am hurt. But we go again like Manchester United players do all the time. You know, they've even got it in my head that we always say we go again. I don't know. I don't know from these guys, man. I don't know from this team. It's toxic from top to bottom, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts on today's because it was just atrocious, man. Player wise today, Mason Mount stinks. Stinks. Casemiro, he deserves to come off at 45 minutes. And Anthony, the defensive winger, what are you here for? And Marshall was, what was Marshall doing today? And Dallo had a horrible game. He had to come off. Man, the match today, guys, is you guys, the fans, the Manchester United fans, you know. And and I commend those players to come off. I mean, look, I commend those fans that left the stadium early as well. Because we they don't deserve the support. The players don't deserve our support. Not at all. We do everything for this club and they still let us down. You know. Don't hear the match today. I gotta have to give it to um Mountain Casemiro. The worst of them all. That midfield is trash, man. Honestly speaking, my guys, you let me know what your thoughts are in the comments because this has been your match reaction from your boy Alpha and Spice. Let me know who your man of the match is today. And your don't hear the match as well. And of course, tomorrow I, I don't feel like I'm gonna be doing uh, Manchin, latest Manchester United news because I don't think I've got time to set up and everything so I might set up for 8pm I don't know what I don't think I will be I'll probably do a short video I think that's what I will do but I've had enough of this club man I'm done anyway guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united your boy is out peace peace and have a good day